two pieces here. This goes here. Mm -hmm. It's a USB drive. And this. In my five years, I've never actually discharged a patient on end title. That's why it's so rare. Mm -hmm. If we can get a patient without having to add all these things to their ventilator, then we'll try to do that. Mm -hmm. The end title adapter piece. This is where I'm going to work on you guys because this is the first time I've actually used this device. Oh, okay. This piece goes like so. And then I believe somehow we have to connect this one to the patient. But I think you need an adapter or the corrugated two things. So let me go grab that. That's the adapter piece. And then I believe the other end goes through the tray. Okay, so we'll turn this on. Uh -oh. It's oh. working. <laughs> I, I've turned this, I, I calibrated this morning mm -hmm. just to test it out. Mm -hmm. Here I go into again. This is something you really don't need to do. Yeah, but I'm going to go to CO2 sensor connected uh, carbon dioxide sensor adapted to the ventilator. Okay, so it didn't notice that I plugged it in because mm -hmm. I plugged it in before I turned it on. So I'm going to plug it in again. Okay. Okay. Now it's not even. CO2. It was just, it just worked. I swear to you, it worked a bit, mm -hmm. like an hour ago. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to disconnect this. It's warming up. I tested it this morning. It takes like a minute or two. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's testing to see how much CO2 is in room air right now mm -hmm. so that when you do the, put the patient on that it can actually measure it. And I'll show you where it actually pops up on the, on the, uh, on the ventilator. Okay. So Wednesday, possible, possibly he's not going home. It might, it might postpone it a couple days. Yeah. She's gonna work very really hard to get the get it going made today. Let's get him home. I know we we did the training about what over a month ago now, right? December. December. Yeah. So this is something that you want to avoid having to do mm -hmm. all the time. takes a little while. Back to the home screen. Mm -hmm. You press when you press start, you'll see it on here. You'll see the list. Mm -hmm. You might not see a number because no one it's not on anybody. And two, it takes about a minute or two to calibrate while the patient's on. Okay. Yeah. So you'll see your all your settings here and then the end title number here anything above 35 you should keep an eye out for um, 25 to 35 is the range where you should see and that's 
that. Pretty simple, but then you've got all these wires also mm -hmm. connected, so this is not a, the most ideal setup. So I'm gonna turn this off, back on standby. And if you should take this and unplug it, and if it's gonna work when you turn it off, I'm not sure, because I, I went through the whole entire uh, Evo manual, mm -hmm. and it doesn't specify. So if we prep it back in, let's see. If it will still pop up. Nope. No. So you'd have to do it every time then? No, I don't think so because if we, I don't think, after, if you keep it plugged in and you reset the, the machine, mm -hmm. I wouldn't turn it off. What I would do is probably keep it on standby. Okay. But let's, I'm going to do it again. I know it's going to take a little while, but now I'm curious to see if you can, see now. Okay. See, it's saying it again. It's again. And then another thing, I want to see if we can do it while the vent is still turned on. That I don't know. Oh, see, you have to put it on standby so you can't use it while it's ventilating. Mm. Okay, so that's that's the other pain too. Oh my lord! So trying to get it to even read it can be a hassle too. Mm. At the same time, so hopefully you won't have to do this. Disconnect. But I don't think you need to test every time you turn on the button, mm -hmm. okay? That's, 